Today I'm going to talk about the BMC FSO1 bike. About four years ago, a little history, uh, four years ago I, I used the BMC bike. It was their Super Stroke 01. And um, I was excited about it. It looked really nice, Swiss finish, Swiss quality. But in reality, back then they weren't ready. It was too high, head angles were too steep, and it just wasn't ready for the American market. And uh, I, I did not have a good experience on that bike. So a little tentative on this one, but um, happy to say I've been riding it for six weeks, and I'm on it about two or three times a week, and I love it. Um, the basics about it is it's their super high-end cross-country bike, uh, 100 millimeter front and rear, four inches, and this is one of the most high-end frames you can get today. 3,300 bucks for the frame, but what you get is carbon fiber and the highest quality carbon fiber this is this is the layup right here no cosmetic uh finish that some people put a top coat of carbon on it to make it look good this is this is all uh, it's structural um uh, finish and it's 4.4 pounds which is kind of the holy grail you know it's, it's called the 4.5 pound club if you can get a full suspension frame under 4.5 pounds you you've accomplished something so aside from that uh just great finish the the uh, the pivots the aluminum hardware is just awesome uh swiss bearings obviously so it's free moving i took out the shock and, and checked out the action um it's a um it's it's a floating pivot uh mini floating pivot bike they call it with a slightly rear world axle path so uh, it's a good balance of active, active suspension, but you can get off the saddle, just hammer, put the hammer down on these pedals, and it's, it's very responsive, uh, much like a, a, a Santa Cruz Blur XC. So the bike comes in at um, uh, $6,100. Uh, with the XO spec 2x10 and um, so it's not cheap uh, but but it's their it's it's their hallmark bike and then whatever they have in the FSO1 uh, the same technology the same design goes to the FSO2 FSO3 but at lower price points so what I'm really impressed about this bike uh, in the package is how they put it together I've never really seen a bike that's this well pieced together um, the um, uh, the handlebar, the stem, Eastern stuff, the grips. I think these are made in Europe, but they they, they match the bike actually. This this is not the stock stock saddle, but it's a it's a black, it's a white and black saddle, and the uh, the wheels. I've never really seen these wheels. Uh, this these are fulcrum wheels, a company by uh, Camp Campagnolo, and they uh, they copied some of the best wheels. In the market, they look like industry nines, which are which are twelve hundred dollar wheels. Thick aluminum spokes for super rigidity, but it's just so light. Um, so the way it's spec is amazing, um, and Schwalbe tires. They have a, a seat post, a carbon post that has a little bit of give to it. So very impressed with it. The um, the head angle, sixty nine point five degrees. Before they would always be seventy seventy one. Which, why, which is why it, it was too steep for, for me, for the American market. But now I feel that this, uh, the geometry is dialed. And um, so yeah, I just had a lot of fun with it. It's so fast, it's 22 and a half pounds complete. So I can bomb down all the single track, but then do the four mile climb up you know, as, as fast as I can on, on any other XC bike. So it's a, it's a great balance of a, of a uh, climbing bike with, uh, with some good descending ability. On the weaknesses side, I would say that uh, they're, they're fairly minor. I had a little bit of creak on uh, on the lower pivot. It's it seems to be common with uh, with these floating pivot bikes like this. They have there's a lot of torque that gets put on those. So I put I just put a, took those bearings out and put some grease in them, and that that went away. The um, another weakness is um, it's a two by ten uh, gearing. But this 2 by 10 is not really that good. I mean, you have a 42 tooth ring and a 32. 
you know, you, you, uh, I think the promise of two by ten is you can stay on the on the big on the big ring forever. So on my other bike, I have a thirty nine big ring and a thirty six back here. So so I think the the uh, the two by ten selection can be optimized. And finally, you know, it's uh, it's hard to give it high marks on value. Over six, anytime you're over six thousand pound, uh, six thousand six thousand dollars, uh, it's a lot of money. Um, so it, it's not a great value bike, but it's 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 their top end uh, showcase bike, and uh, I'm, I'm pleased with it. Thank you.